Getty Eddie Jones was unhappy with England despite beating Argentina Farrell was the water boy and Itoje watched from the stands as England struggled past the Pumas at Twickenham on Saturday in a flat start to the old Mutual Wealth Series. Jonas' side need a significant uplift if they're to see off the Wallabies but the England coach says short-term temptations will not override long-term priorities, we've planned a three-game selection, said Jones. We are trying to win the World Cup in 2019 so everything we do now is about trying to win the World Cup. The way we manage the players is with that in mind, for them to be at their best by November 2, 2019, some players need to get more work at other things. At this stage, that's the case with those two Itoje and Farrell and we'll continue doing that until we think they need to play. Man of the match Makovuna Pola admitted the rested Lions kingpins were missed in the unconvincing 218 win over Argentina. We are trying to win the World Cup in 2019 England boss Eddie Jones they're world-class players and when they're not in the side you can see you're missing a bit of presence there, said Vuna Pola. Joe Marler was last night recalled to the England squad in a move which is likely to spark another scrum gate row with the Wallabies. The Harlequins prop, who rejoined the England squad at their Penny Hill Park base after completing a three-week ban for elbowing Wasps for Rollins, was singled out by Australia for illegal tactics ahead of their World Cup meeting two years ago. I'm sure that's going to come, said Jones. I want Australia to bring their best game to Twickenham and then see if we can handle it. We know we have to play better and we will. Australia, who beat New Zealand three weeks ago, come into the Twickenham showdown in confident mood after their 13th successive win over Wales at the Principality Stadium on Saturday. It's another cauldron for us, said Wallabies try score Adam Coleman. England could be without Mike Brown with the fullback going through the return to play concussion protocols after an aerial collision with Joaquin Tuculet which saw the Pumas fullbacks and binned. Anthony Watson, who filled in at number 15 for 58 minutes after Brown's exit, would be the likely stand-in. Brown was included in the 35-man squad named last night along with Worcester's Ben Teo who will continue his rehab from an ankle injury with England until Wednesday.